Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk Fridays. Uh, Jamie here again from Intelligent Home. Today I wanna to give you three little tips for your home theater room. So these are things that you can do at home. Uh, they shouldn't cost you anything, just a little bit of your time and well worth experimenting with. There's a couple of things that we talk to people about a lot with theater rooms and, and it mostly comes down to placement, placement of theater, uh, seating, placement of furniture, placement of speakers. Uh, and it all really heavily weighs in on the overall performance of your room. So a uh, couple of things to talk about. Whenever you're in a any room, be it a theater room or any other room that has walls that face each other, so opposite walls or opposing walls, there are acoustic phenomenon that occur in the room. Uh, so you get what are known as acoustic peaks and acoustic nulls where sound will either be overly sort of emphasized or sound will be at such a low volume that in some cases you can't even hear it. Uh, you also get uh, another phenomenon called standing waves. And this has to do when different sounds in the room actually crash into each other and wipe each other out or make it so that you can't sort of pick up or hear that sound. Different versions of these phenomenon occur in different places of the room and they occur in every room. And a lot of the times, one of the easiest ways to, I guess, rectify the, the problem per se is to move yourself. Uh, a lot of the times you can't move the physical room. You can't shift a wall or raise the ceiling to move where the phenomenon occurs, but you can move yourself out of the problem zone. So I'm gonna give uh, sort of three really cool, easy tips that you can try at home just to try and work around some of these issues. So number one, placement of your sofa. Big mistake that a lot of people make and, and everybody's probably seen it or done it at home. Big thing we talk to a lot of people about is get your couch away from the back wall. So here in our theatre room, here in our showroom, we've got our four seat uh, sofa here and you can see that that's actually away from the wall. Now I'm just gonna walk over there and give you a bit of an idea of how far away from the wall it is. And it varies from room to room. So you can see back here, there's a reasonable amount of distance. There's a reasonable amount of distance between the back wall and our couch. And that's been calculated and we've got some tools and some software that can help us calculate how far forward or where precisely you should be sat in a room uh, to, to get the best sound. The reason you want to come off the back wall is that the back wall or all walls in your theatre room will typically become an acoustic peak. So there's a lot of energy, a lot of sound gathering up in that space. If you're sat there in amongst all this energy, it's quite simply, it's hard for your brain to pick through the noise to find the important information. And a lot of the time the seating placement will help with things and a lot of people will sort of maybe be nodding along at home with this but a lot of people have the problem in their room where you can't quite hear what people are saying properly so you turn the volume up then the action's too loud so you turn the volume down again and then you're forever wrestling with the volume knob or the remote control to try and find that balance and a lot of that's got to do with what's happening in the room so without again without getting too deep into the science of it all dragging your couch forward try it at 30 centimeters 40 centimeters 50 centimeters away from the back wall and watch your favorite chapter of your favorite movie and then move your couch a bit more and watch it again and you you'll actually hear a difference um and and you'll be able to get a pretty good gauge on where sounds good in your room the next one and again this is a, a pretty common one that that we see in a lot of people's rooms is you should try and avoid sitting on a center line or in the center point of the room. So this could be the center left to right in the room or the center front to back in the room. You should avoid that position if at all possible. Uh, so again, looking at the furniture here in our room, uh, in our back row here, we've got a four seat couch, which inherently means you can't sit in the middle because there's four chairs, not five. In the middle of the middle is an armrest with a little tray table for us to keep our snacks or in our case our iPad for control. So you uh, you want to make sure that you don't sit in the center, front to back, left to right. So again, that might mean dragging your couch off to one side, depending on how many seats are in the couch. Grab a measuring tape, measure the width of the room, uh, chuck a post-it note right on the center line, and then make sure that nobody's going to sit on that point. Again, it will make a difference. How big of a difference? This one's maybe a little more negligible um, because depending on 
the size and dimension of your room, the, the sound that's not working properly there may or may not be mission critical to your experience. If you've got multiple seated rows, uh, consider again, consider the placement of your front row. So again, I'll just adjust the camera a little here. Again, we've got our front row, two seat couch, forward of the front to back center, and being a two seat, a love seat, you can't sit in the middle. So no one's in that negative space, that disadvantaged space. Um, so consider couch off the back wall, consider not sitting in, in the center, front to back or left to right center. Should be fairly easy things for you to just do when you're at home, drag it around a little bit, see what results you get. Now the third one is about speaker placement. So uh, I'm gonna spin you guys around again just a little bit here and we're gonna find, I've just brought a speaker out for the sake of display. So this guy here, this is our uh, Paradigm uh, Monitor SE3000 tower speaker. And at the moment, we've got it where a lot of people would have their speaker pretty well right up against the, the wall. Uh, and, and that actually does a big disservice to the speaker. Speakers wanna breathe. They need a lot of breathing room. Different speakers will have different specifications and different recommendations for their placement in their breathing room. Uh, so as an example with this guy, being what's known as a rear ported speaker, so on the back it's got the, 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 the hole cut out at the back for the air to escape, that wants a lot of room for that air to escape. The more room you can give it, the more dynamic your sound is going to be. You'll get more bass, you'll get a cleaner sound just by bringing it forward from the wall. Uh, and the same is proximity to nearby furniture. So if you've got a solid cabinet nearby, try and get the speaker uh, away from that as well. So with this particular speaker, we would aim to bring this guy forward about 60 to 70 centimeters. So, you know, somebody could comfortably walk past there. You'll need to make sure that the cabling that you've got in your room will allow for that and that it's going to, you know, not pull out and you've got a bit of slack. Um, and another, just a little hint to go along with this as well. When you drag your tower speakers or your bookshelf speakers, whatever your front speakers are, forward into the room, uh, away from that back wall, make sure to bring your center speaker forward so that all of the, the fronts of the speakers are actually in alignment with each other. And that'll just make sure you've got a really nice smooth sound stage, really nice transition of sound from the action uh, through to the vocals in the middle. So hopefully that's a little bit helpful, you guys. Maybe something for you to do if you're bored this weekend, you can have a go at rearranging some furniture. Uh, Obviously, you know, you, you might need a bit of a hand depending on how big and heavy your couch is, but I really think it's well worth a shot for everybody to have a go. So the three top tips, again, just in review. One, drag your couch forward off of the back wall um, and try it at a few different positions. If your room is approximately four meters, for example, from front wall to back wall, your couch wants to be approximately 80 to 90 centimeters from the wall. Now that's, it's not a written wall and obviously a written rule rather varies a little bit, but so get your couch off the back wall, have a go in a few different positions. Don't sit in the middle, rearrange your couch, slide it left and right in the room, try a different seated position in the room. Just get out of that center line if you can, because there is a sound frequency in your room that is null, that is non-existent at that position. Uh, and then the third is bring your front speakers forward off the wall, give them room to breathe and watch their dynamics improve. You will get better sound quality for it. Give all that a go. Now, uh, I mentioned before, we've got some pretty cool software and a lot of our guys are really well trained in this stuff. So if you wanted to chat with us about getting a design together or getting some more precise dimensions for your room, give us a call here at the office. If you're building a new home uh, and you're gonna come down and see us with your plans and go through your structured cabling, this is actually a part of our design process with you if there's a theatre room and, and you wanna go through that. If you're not currently building a home, however, and you wanna go through, if you give us a call or contact us online, uh, book in with us with one of our guys to come in and do the theater design. If you mention this video, we will meet with you and go through that design process free of charge. So you can get the advice and you can go home and rearrange things. 
while you're here, we can talk to you about acoustic treatments for the rooms to help remove unnecessary echoes in the room and make sure that there's nothing distracting going on. And we can you know, talk to you about any other queries that you may have for your room. But so if you're building a new home, that's a part of your design process with us anyway. If you're not, mention the video when you contact us and we'll meet with you and go through a free design for your room and for your equipment. We'll need to get some product specifics from you uh, to make sure that works as accurately as possible. So guys, that's it from me for another Tech Talk Friday. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend ahead. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, hit us up in the comments. Uh, check out our YouTube channel. Um, give us a call anytime. We're always here to help. So have a great weekend. Take care, and I will see you all again next week. Cheers.